Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, we're talking about Amazon's long-awaited and slightly delayed MMORPG. Yeah, New World arrived today and we're doing a recap. We're taking a look at the first day, so to speak. First off, I gotta tell you, this game is selling like crazy. There's no official count yet, but there were over 700,000 people logged on simultaneously today. <laughs> that is an impressive number. It was like the most out of like any game in a long time, as far as I know. Um, also, guys, as you can imagine, with that number of concurrent players, yeah, there was a big wait time, and the wait times today did <laughs> not. <laughs> they were they were pretty big here. Right at launch, there's always wait times in these types of games, as you guys know, right? Like, it's a new game. They've got to sort out their servers. But, yeah, today it was crazy. Uh, I heard uh, that they had 233 servers at launch per... This is per Kotaku, and that each server is capped at 2,000. So... There was only space, I suppose, for 466,000 players at once. However, there was 700 and like 7,000 at that at the at maximum time there at peak time. So yeah, that was close to a quarter million players. Yeah, you were trying to get in, and <laughs> apparently the wait times were huge, especially early on. I even heard that the queue to join or the wait your wait list was in the thousands, and apparently even one guy said it was over 10,000 at one point for the server he was trying to get onto. So again, I did not see that, but yeah, big wait times. And you know what? I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Like part of me is like, you know, hey guys, it's the first day. They're launching it. They got, the, you know, they're trying their best, um, you know, but part of me is like, you know, this is Amazon and they own <laughs> their own servers. Like they're the number one server provider in the world. I think they're ahead of Google and, and Microsoft and their Azure stuff, they're like number one. So Amazon should have had it a little bit better. But again, I'm not too technical there. So um, yeah, as you can imagine, though, people went crazy in the Steam reviews. The early reviews while they were waiting, man, that game just got flamed to hell. I think when I last looked at it, it was like 43% thumbs up rating, which is abnormally low, especially for a game that's honestly, I think this game's great. So it wasn't I didn't. I didn't like seeing like all that venom and all that uh, fire on there just because they had a you know a rough couple hours start. But hey, you know what? That's the world we live in. Uh, also, I do want to go on the record and let you know that there were a bunch of new servers made available on US West. I play on US West, and you know what? I'm actually looking for a server. I'm not even sure which server I'm going to play on. So just a heads up. There's new servers. I'm looking to play on US West because I'm in. Uh, Western Canada and actually you know what if you guys are playing and, and you want to join up maybe make a guild and join me that would be awesome right like not a guild I guess a, a company as they call it in this game <laughs> I'm going old school here let's just do that right like let's get a whole bunch of us MGNers let's let's build a company let's pick a faction let's get in there and like doing some siege weaponry stuff I don't know we'll build a trebuchet and then you know one of the guys who's not as good as us maybe builds a catapult I don't know how this works but it'll be a ton of fun guys let me know what server you're on let me know what how your launch was how what was your experience like let me know all of these things comment below let's play together all right guys I'll be back soon with some more content thanks for watching